हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वी एस एकेडमी दिस इज फिजिकल डिजाइन कोर्स लेक्चर एट पार्ट टू ऑन फिजिकल डिजाइन इनपुट्स वेयर वी शेल बी लुकिंग एट सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर दोज हु आर इन एकेडमिक्स एंड इन प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी ब्रीफली डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वी एल एंड वट आर द इनपुट्स दैट आर नीडेड फॉर फिजिकल डिजाइन स्टेज फ्रॉम पार्टीशनिंग ऑनवर्ड्स सो दिस इज पार्टीशनिंग ऑनवर्ड स्टेज ऑफ फिजिकल डिजाइन एंड वी नीड टू सी दैट वट आर द इनपुट्स नीडेड टू स्टार्ट दिस इज प्रोसेस and out of all the inputs that we briefly discussed in the previous video we shall be looking at netlist first as we discussed earlier that netlist is a very important physical design input that is given and it is a nothing but a description of connectivity of electronic circuit now let us quickly look at how the netlist looks like and what it contains as we told just now a netlist consists of a list of electronic components in the circuit and list of nodes that they are connected to so here a network or a net is a collection of two or more interconnected components you can say that it is nothing but a textual description of a circuit made of components let us assume that these inputs are nothing but let's say a b and b c and then c a and let us assume further that your output is c out and there are three wires in between and these wires are let's say this connectivity wire is x y and z and let's assume that these gates have name so this one is let's say g1 g1 and then this one is g2 and then this one is g3 and this one is g4 now let us look at how the netlist will look like and what will be the content of it so first it will be defining the module so this module has input and output pins so it will define this module where it will say that these are the inputs a b and c and one output c out this pins once it is defined then it will define the connectivity information so there are three wires which are being used wire x y and z now again uh, now it will start defining all the components one by one including the input and what are the type of it so first is and gate so first it will define the type of gate that is and gate name of the gate is g1 and it has inputs a and b and one output so this is how it was defined first it will define output x and then a b then that wire is defined now similarly it will define gate g2 so and gate g2 b c are the inputs and y wire is connected at the output and then it will define another gate gate g3 in a, in a very similar manner that is z is the output and a and c are inputs now it will define this or gate so it will say or and then g4 that is the name of the gate then output first so c out and then three wires which are connecting so x y and z and then end module this means this module definition is now complete so this is how all the netlists are defined and this is how all the connectivity information is written in the netlist this is just a very log code of the netlist and it does not contain any technological specific information once it is synthesized by the engineers then synthesized netlist will have a corresponding technological info also present in the same netlist hence we can say that what we just understood is a technological independent netlist and if reference name of the gates are included here then it becomes your synthesized netlist this also means that same piece of rtl code can be synthesized again in a different technology or maybe in a different foundry also so it means that same piece of rtl code can be used once the technology shrinks you may not need to change the rtl code if you want to use the same code again but still you will have a different synthesized netlist in the different technology that's all for this video we will come up with more similar concepts in further videos please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you